Welcome back to another video guys, we're here once again in the new RASBAM module, the F-15E Strike Eagle. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. As we go through this video, don't forget to have a look around at the map. Uh, this is the new Sinai map and uh, it's a good time to have a little, you know we've done a few videos with it now, it's a good time to have a little peek at it as we uh, fly around. A very nice map, quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um, as we taxi out here. I'll talk you guys through the little things I've learned from yesterday to today. The F-15E Strike Eagle is a very deep module. There's a lot to learn here. It's a very capable aircraft, uh, very well modeled from what I can tell so far in terms of weapon systems and things like that. There's a lot to learn. Again, I am learning piece by piece as I go. Do not watch this video thinking that I am teaching you procedural things or the way to do things correctly. I am not. I'm simply trying to show off the aircraft a little bit as I learn it. Uh, we're hoping to, you know, get it all learned by the time it releases so we can do some cool videos. But I figure why not do some videos while we're learning and, uh, you know, take this opportunity to show off this very amazing aircraft. We'll uh, go ahead and take off momentarily here and then we'll go over some steer points and uh, we have an early warning radar we need to hit. Look at that beautiful map. The palm trees and everything, They're very immersive. Uh, we have some ground objectives we're going to hit today because I figure people want to see the Strike Eagle hit some ground targets, right? It's the whole point of the Strike Eagle. And we might have to defend ourselves. Another thing the Strike Eagle is expected to be able to do. Alright, let's go ahead and take the active runway here. We'll blast off and I'll see you guys in the sky. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, once we're all leveled out here, we're going to come down to the right MFD over here. We're going to press the M for menu. There we go. And we're going to press the uh, HSI over here. And then we're going to turn off auto sequence. That's going to stop the jet from auto cycling to the next steer point. We're going to bump the range down to 10. And we're going to go ahead and turn into our steer point as indicated by this symbol here. And on the HUD, you can see uh, this here. Uh, you can see that we are at steer point one alpha. If we weren't, I would type in one there and press steer point one alpha, enter on the UFC there. I'll show you with steer point two uh, at that point as well. As we turn in, we should see a circle on the HUD uh, that will indicate to us the steer point. Okay, and steer point one is right in the HUD there. You see that circle? That's steer point one. Steer point two is on top of the objective, so we're gonna use that to navigate. So we're gonna punch into the UFC here. We're gonna put uh, two, uh, right here, two. And we're gonna go steer point two alpha. That's now set. And uh, what we're gonna do is now pull up what I believe to be the air to ground, how this is gonna work. I'm gonna press air to ground master mode down here. And then again, remember this is not correct procedure. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to come over here to air to ground. I'm going to select the Mark 84s and I think, uh, oh wait, it was program one. Yeah, we'll keep program one. Master arm on 
and you see this little indicator on the HUD here. I believe that's a CCIP uh, indicator. Over there is the little city. So we're going to go ahead and pop up. That's where the steer point two is and the early warning radar that we need to hit. Some nice juicy 2,000 pound bombs here. Uh, we're being locked up by some sort of ground radar, so we're dropping flare and chaff. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the indicator on top of steer point two and pickle. And then let's hit this uh, whatever SA-13 that's shooting at me. Let's hit him as well. Pickle. pull off of this drop here and roll and we got direct impact on both targets good kills Alright, there you go. That's my first air-to-ground delivery in the Strike Eagle, and this thing made it very easy. Let's go ahead and climb. Okay, we have uh, an air-to-air -air intercept, so we're going to switch over to air-to-air -air master mode. Click menu, uh, click menu again, and we're going to come over here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, air-to-air -air radar. There we go. And we want to get rid of the HSI, pull up the uh, electronic warfare screen. There's the MiG-31s right there. Alright, and we'll go ahead and jettison, so we're going to switch this over to air to ground, and then fuel, fuel, and we'll jettison that. Okay, and we'll take control of the air to air radar now by pressing castle switch left, and there's our two targets on the, uh, on the radar screen there. We'll go ahead and lock one of them up. They're trying to lock me up too. Uh, lock that guy up and then I'll push forward to go into uh, track while scan you can see it says 3 HDT at the bottom of the radar screen there that's a high data track and then we're gonna maintain this lock we have them at 55 miles according to uh, what's written on the HUD there range 53 miles now and we'll go ahead and center them on the nose here and they are climbing and we're climbing these are not MiG-31s with hypersonic missiles, by the way. That would be a very different story. We'll deal with hypersonics later. Uh, 48 miles now as we climb through 20,000 feet. Look at these guys. F-15 has absolutely no trouble holding lock. We're going to azimuth bump it to change our range to 60 now. And just so a little bit easier to maintain target on two guys if they decide to split up. Now we're 41 miles. And I only got four AMRAMs, by the way, so I really need to make sure the probability of kill is high here. I can only miss one time on each guy. I'd like to miss none. Uh, Cooley switch up to cycle between the two targets. We talked about that yesterday in yesterday's video. Okay, got him at 32 miles now. Right off the nose there. 30 miles. Let's go ahead and send a Fox 3. Fox 3. And then we'll cycle to the other guy. And Fox 3 on him as well. Okay. 
Okay, we're at 27 miles. They've launched on me as well. We have a missile out. So those of you who wanted to hear the RWR notifications out of the F-15, there it is. No mistaking that. We'll go ahead and crank to the left here. Range 22 miles. There's the missile launch. We'll crank the opposite way in a moment here. Hold this for just a second. We want to make sure that we're providing guidance to those AMRAMs. We'll go ahead and turn in the opposite way now. Recommit onto these MiGs. At least one of them must die quickly because I'm outnumbered. And that's bad news for me. Uh, still holding lock on the secondary target. F-15 radar does not break lock. <laughs> and there we go. Got my nose pointed at him again at 15 miles. I don't see any splashes. So, oh, there we go. One's dead. And the second guy looks like he defeated his missile. Yeah, so his buddy just died, so let's go ahead and do him a favor and kill him as well. Uh, 11 miles. 10 miles. He's locking me, Fox 3, and he shot at me as well. We'll try to hit the beam or the notch against that missile here. A uh, 8 mile lock, still holding that lock, this F-15 refuses to drop lock on this guy. <laughs> there he is over there. Looks like he's trying to hit the beam against my AMRAM. Good luck, the notch window on an AMRAM is very, very low. I've defeated his missile and got him. That hit him perfectly. Uh, did he die? So that AMRAM didn't kill him, I think. I didn't see a splash. I saw it hit him, but he didn't die. Alright, Amram messed him up real good. Here he is. He's definitely out of the fight here. We're gonna use the ACM modes. I'm gonna try a uh, vertical lock mode. I can pull it up here. Give me just a second. There we go. And lock there. Yeah, vertical lock mode. Auto acquisition aft. We'll bring that up. We'll wait for the lock. Uh, point the nose down a little, maybe. There we go. Got the lock, finally. Range one mile. Fox three. Guy's just trying to go home after he got hit by an AMRAM. <laughs> that's my last AMRAM. Splash that second MiG-31. And that's it. That's the F-15 uh, taking out some ground targets with some dumb bombs. And uh, we see that very capable radar in action again here today. Splash a second MiG-31. Alright, let's head home. What do you guys say? We'll try a landing. Uh, I'm gonna climb up and let's go ahead and set steer point four. So I'm gonna put it to navigation master mode. And I'm gonna come over here, switch back to the HSI. And I'm gonna put in uh, of number four here and we're gonna type in steer point four alpha. And we're gonna head over back to base. Land this big bird. <laughs> 